the new Pokemon 2022 London World Championship decks. Let's go. Gotta catch them all Pokemon fans. Welcome to another Playscape Games video. I'm so hyped. We've got the 2022 Pokemon World Championship decks. Um, this is the tournament that I competed in and I finished 77th from like 220 players in the second day of the competition. Um, unfortunately, none of these decks are, have my names on them, but there's some amazing players and some amazing decks on the on this product. So I just thought I'd show you quickly before we go into them what this the sort of like the sealed thing looks like. So this one's not sealed, but I've got another one in my sealed collection. Um, it just has like the, the logo of the, the, the London Pikachu. Um, so this was obviously at the Excel Center. The entire like venue was transformed for World Championships. Um, I'll just show you what the front of the display looks like with the logo and stuff. And um, the Roserade as well. And obviously the, the back of, you know, has all the has all the names and the sort of like the details of the of the players. Um, and yeah, when you fold it out, um, you get this really cool display as well. So um, it might be quite tough to find a sealed one or like a full case, like potentially with a waste, this, you know, maybe you can find someone who's still got a sealed case. But um, this is what the, the decks that I can't I can barely show it to you on this camera. I just wanted to kind of give you a general idea of what you know, what it looks like um, as a display piece. And then I'm going to, you know, show you close close up what the decks look like. So here are the um, the decks. So they're really, yeah. So here we got the um, Arceus uh, Dialgrim Palkia deck by Andre Scruble. We've got the, the Shape of Mew, great reference to um, Ed Sheeran there by Andre Chearson. We've got Ice Rider Palkia um, by R Rikuto Ohashi. And we've also got Cheryl again um, by Sebastian Lashmet. A lot of the pin badges sometimes kind of drop out um, sometimes. So we're going to open these up uh, here. So I've got the, um, the the close up one so you can see the quality of the cards better. Hopefully when our new camera arrives uh, next week, um, we won't have to worry too much about filming quality and, you know, where stuff are because everything will be a lot better. So, yeah, so we're going to open it up and take a close look at these decks and also show you the um, the back again if you of, of, the de of each deck. If you want to have a look at the deck list, you can pause the video and, you know, check out. It's got, like, the information about, you know, the person. So, lovely um, Sebastian finished um, second place at the seniors division um, in TCG. So, seniors, for those who don't know, are between, like, 11 and 15, roughly. It's about your birth year, but I think it's roughly around that time. So, each one of these gives you um, the little booklet, and these are really cool. This tells you a lot about the... these. Are just every They've done these decks every year, so please um, click the link above if you want to check out the last time the decks came out, all the way back in 2019 the World Championship decks in 2019 Washington DC when I was a, a judge at that one um, so we got here the the, the um, little booklet so you can see there it's just got like information about that so this basically just again you can pause it if you want to read any of this at some point so um, it just show, it basically says how um, you know they took over the Excel Center for the World Championships and all of the different countries um, that were participating the stage looked absolutely amazing you can see here um, the stage um, just looks absolutely crazy of like Big Ben and um, you know Pals of the Parliament and stuff like that. The big London Pikachu just looked absolutely amazing. The theming from uh, London London World Championships was so cool. And then um, yeah, obviously um, you know there was you know like a two to three year gap between worlds because of the coronavirus. And then it's, it talks a bit more about that. And um, this is the brackets from the juniors. So Rikuta Ahashi has got one of the decks there. Um, poor Liam Halliburton, because his deck's very similar um, to one of the other players. Um, I don't think his deck was in, his deck was included. So he won the seniors division, but the um, lovely um, you know Sebastian is the one that got the got the deck just because they need to have four decks. So, and in the masters division, some lovely people there. Um, Andre Scrabble, very nice man. I played him at a winning in at a tournament once um, to get into day two. We both tied, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, he's a lovely man from the Czech Republic, Czech Chechnya. I spoke to someone from the Czech Republic and they actually still, they, he said that they prefer to still call, you know, call it the Czech Republic and not Chechnya. So, and what's really great is that there's a bunch of photographs from the event so you can get a flavour of what, you know, how the event was going. Got the, the first place trophy card there for the winner of the main event. Oh, is that... Is that the, that must be the, um, the lovely person, Des Destiny Mewtwo from my Discord. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there was more Leon cosplayers there. If it is you, please leave a comment below. Uh, the lovely president there, Ishihara, I want to say. 
Um, and then more details about the, you know, the junior champion and all of the different decks. So we'll just quickly go through these. Again, if you want to look at any of these decks or any of the information, you should be able to pause the screen. And hopefully um, my face isn't obscuring it. So we got here just more cool things. The trophy. Look at that awesome Bay in the Irida cosplay there. Um, yeah, the players at the, at the tournament there. Just more things. you got like some influencers down there. Liam Hart and a few other of those people. That's awesome. And yeah, just more photos. And here we've got the seniors division. So lovely Liam Halliburton, one with uh, Palkia, which is cool. So we've got the um, seniors deck there from Liam. We've got um, the, one of the, the deck that we're opening here, the Cheryl again deck from that lovely man. Um, so many you sure I got third place with Mewtwo V Union. So a control deck actually, no, no, Arceus, wow, Arceus V Mewtwo V Union got third in the seniors. I had no idea. It's like it got, got this and the, uh, the Arceus Flying Pikachu deck got fourth, which is really cool. And some more photos there. Just quickly, um, go for, is that is that pumpkin, Amy? It looks, I don't know, I'm not sure. <laughs> got some cool photos there for some lovely people. And um, that was the final there. That's Andredge and the um, second place Masters player, which is Daichi, yeah. That was them winning. So there's Andredge, who won the, um, Andre, who won the, um, you know, the, the Masters division, the, the main division that I was playing in where I finished 77th. Got Daichi. I didn't play any, I don't think I played any of these guys on the way to the final. Got Ryoto there, um, another flying Pikachu deck. And lovely James, wow. Um, from the Netherlands, um, got fourth place. Yeah, he's a, he's a lovely man as well. So, yeah, and the uh, VGC champions, and you know some of the the teams that they use, the seniors division, and the you know the master division when we were doing sword and shield battles, Pokemon Pokemon tournament DXs, the um, masters and the seniors champion. That's pretty cool. Pokemon Unite, um, it's really nice. And the Pokemon Go World Champions, the first World Champions in Pokemon Go. And some of the lovely staff members. Um, again, you can pause to see your name, hopefully. Yeah. Some of the lovely staff members. I've worked with many of these people over the years. Some lovely people here um, who helped, you know, put the whole thing together. And some more credits, some more world staff there. More lovely people, TCG credits. And some more photographs of some lovely people at the World Championships. That's so cool. Play Pokemon and the booklet. So... Um, each one of these also comes with the play mat. Um, it's going to be quite hard to see it. So if you've got like on the go, you can just sort of fold it out, and you can you can even got it's even got like the beginning of the rules, so you know how to like to do the basics of the thing. It's got the logo, it's got the the Pikachu on it, and it's got a nice little poster. Of <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll turn it the other way around because it deserves to be the right way around. The the um, the poster, the design for the for the World Championships there. You can just about barely see that on the camera. And we're going to open up the box and take a look at what else is inside here. Oh, I'm really liking that jumbo coin. I can't remember if the coin was in the last one. So, take that out. We've got the beautiful pin badge. Um, so, this design is exclusive to... Um, normally, the pin badges are exclusive to the, the one that has the logo and the 2022. Obviously, there were pin badges at the store and like staff pin badges and player ones. But I think this one in particular is exclusive to this box, which is pretty cool. I might have some of those to sell at the upcoming MCM London Comic Con. May the... Um, I want to say 27th to 29th, come say hello if you're in London uh, that weekend. They've done a really good job with these deck boxes. It'll be a shame to actually, um, maybe if I put them in perfect fit sleeves, they might still fit in there. I'm not sure. I'm going to might try to get some perfect fits because I really want to keep these deck boxes. Normally I just put them in, in clear sleeves, like with big thicker ones. Just look at that. That is so cool. And um, before we get into the deck, I will show you um, what else is in here. And yeah, I'll give away one of these code cards because I think they're the same for all four of the decks. So, um, you know, please leave a comment below. Um, what, what do you end up getting when you redeem this code card? And um, we've got this really cool coin. So this coin is 100%... Wow, look how beautiful that is. This coin is 100% exclusive to... Um, I want to catch the light on my camera there. Yeah, this coin is exclusive to... Um, the Oh, it's got like a little blue hue at the back. That's so cool. I love it so much. Because obviously I'm always going to be super nostalgic and proud of, you know, of this World Championships because it was the one I competed at myself and, you know, in my at my home venue uh, where I've done MCM, Co MCM Comic Con is at the same venue that the Pokemon World Championships is, uh, which is brilliant, the XL Center. So we got here um, some of the cards. So they put two of the cards from the deck at the front. So what's quite interesting is that um, you can see here, you can just about make out the little signature on the right here. So that's the little scribble of the, of the person's deck. Um, in this case... I've already thrown the box away and I have no idea who's 
<laughs> this is this is Sebastian Lashmet, the second place seniors player, and um, they've also got the different backs as well. So you can tell that because these have got the silver borders and the different backs, um, these are not legal for play in sanctioned tournaments. But if you have like a local event where people are just gathering just to play Pokemon cards for fun or like local tournament, if you message them out or ask them in advance if you can play a World Championship deck, most of them should be okay with it as long as it's not sanctioned. Um, that's the big difference. If you are playing in a sanctioned tournament, your Pokemon cards need to be legal, legal ones with with the with the you know the correct backs. So please bear that in mind before you try and buy these decks to play like in big tournaments and stuff. So this is the Urshifu deck. So effectively, the strategy of this deck um, is to effectively the strategy of this deck is to use. Um, various ways to power up your Urshifu and your G-Max Rapid Flow to kind of just do 120, 120 damage to multiple Pokemon over multiple turns. And the reason it's called Shit, so you've obviously got the Shady Dealings engine. It's just so cool seeing some of these cards as Worlds cards because we've been playing with these cards now for like two to three years. Um, Shady Dealings engine, like um, you can use it to get any trainer cards. So you, you obviously evolve your Sobbles up. You've got your, your Octillaries to help grab your um, Urshifu. Fun fact, I think the last Worlds deck or the one before that actually had Octillaries in it. I think that was a 2018 deck, the one with Gardevoir. Um, we got the nice Medicham, the Mana Feed, that's really cool, and non hollow Iridus. So these are also really good for proxies. Even if you don't end up keeping the deck together, you play practice battles with friends or you're practicing for tournaments, you can use these as proxies in your decks when you're practicing with others just to get, get used to decks. So the main strategy was called Cheryl again. You would use the Cheryl, which would heal all damage from your Urshifu because it's got 330 HP. It's very hard to knock out. And then you can, um, you know, just start attacking with Gale Thrust or, or other attacks, which is pretty cool. So we got um, Tower of Waters, Scoop Up Nets, to, you, you can see the signature a bit more clearer on this one here. Um, Evolution Incenses and stuff, Level Balls, that's pretty cool. And the Rapid Strike Energies, which core, form the core part of a Rapid Strike deck, so that's really cool. And you've got, if, if you're not planning to sleeve them, you can still put them straight back in the deck box. So I'm going to keep all four of these decks together um, to use at the, oh, look at that, it's even got the little London thing on the lid there. That's These are just so cool, this is so neat. So I'm going to keep these decks together for the Kid Stuff Toys Eastbourne Pokemon League. Um, right, so we've got here the Ice Rider Palkia deck. Um, we're just going to race through these ones a bit quicker. I will just quickly open these off camera just to, just to speed up the process of looking through the deck. So the booklets are exactly the same in um, whichever decks you use. So this is Rikito Ohashi's deck. Um, and I believe uh, they finished... Where did they finish? Does it even say? The Juniors Champion. So Juniors are for, like, anyone. So you, as soon as you can hold cards, you effectively can play in the Juniors Division. Normally, most Juniors don't start playing until they're, like, 6, 7. But you can start, you know, playing in the Juniors Division younger than that. So you get the book, booklet again. You get another one of the... Uh, oh, I haven't even opened it up yet. But the coins there, the... Um, the you know, the Palkias there and, and the pin badge is exactly the same in all four of the decks. So... We'll open these up and try and race through this as quick as possible. Um, hopefully, I didn't show you that code card because I want to open some of them online myself. Um, got the coin card, the coin card, the coin, um, the pin badge again, and the. Um, if I bring this back a little bit, and the Palkia V Star, which forms up the main part of the deck. So you just use that subspace spell attack. Palkia, after it came out in Astral Radiance, which was the main set that was legal for play at the World Championships. The first set that wasn't the new set that was legal for play at the World Championships, the newest set. Um, Palkia was one of the strongest attackers because you could use that Star Portal um, ability to power up your Palkias really quickly and just use Subspace Well for huge damage. So um, I'll show you in this deck. Um, it even shows you the um, the name that they chose, Ice Rider Palkia. And Rakoto Ahashi it even shows you the name. And you can see each deck is, you know, coloured and themed. Or at deck boxes, coloured and themed. And the backs are also coloured to match the cards. So they made... These, these are a real step up. Obviously, the 2018, 2019 decks that I had are really good as well. But these are the huge step up from those ones. Like, just because of how they designed the deck box and stuff. So big shout out to the Pokemon company and all the people that are involved with the production design of these. Um, so, yeah, you've got um, three... Three Palkia Vs, two, three Palkia V stars, so you can get your Palkia V stars out super quickly. Again, very popular and strong at the time. The Shady Dealings Inteleon, um, so you can power up your, you can you can use those to find your trainer cards, find your buckets, find your Melanies to power up your Palkia. Um, the so this one had a very thin Ice Rider Calyrax, Calyrax line, so one one of the Ice Rider Calyrax. You can see here, Max Lance. You can discard up to two energy from this Pokemon. And this attack does 120 damage. You can do 250 damage just for two energies. You stick a choice belt on. You're doing 280 damage. And then when you combine it with um, 
Okay, this one doesn't play quick shooting in Teleon, but you can combine it with Choice Spell, and also you can do early damage with Radiant Greninja's uh, Moonlight Shuriken attack, which is really cool. And yeah, you can use Melanie to power up. Oh, and you've got Leon, so you use Leon to do 30 more damage. So combined um, with the... There should be a couple of choice belts in there. You would imagine so. It's a junior's deck, yeah. Um, choice belts. You combine it with the choice belts. Um, you're doing 310 damage with the power of the Ice Rider, and you can still do a bunch of dam big damage with the um, the Palkia V Star. So this is a really cool Palkia deck. I like that the player included the one one Ice Rider in it. it. Makes it a bit more unique and interesting from all of the other dozens of like Palkia decks that were sort of running around that day. So, yep. Yeah, congratulations to Rakuto Ohashi for winning the juniors division. So next up, we've got the... Um, I'll, I'll leave the World Champions deck for the last, because I can talk about that one the most. So the Mew VMAX deck. I love this one. You can see the shape of Mew, Andrew Chearson, a lovely lovely man from Canada. Um, you can Again, you can pause the... I don't think I actually showed you guys the back of the, um, the Palkia deck, if you wanted to pause and, you know, read anything from the from the back of the Palkia deck. So there you go. Um, so Andre Chearson um, got top eight with Mew VMAX. So normally... Only finishing in the top eight wouldn't get you a deck because there's normally only four of these decks that are made. But Pokemon that year, they really wanted to, um, you know, feature um, some different decks because the top four, a lot of the top four decks were quite similar. There was a lot of Palkia, there was a lot of Flying Pikachu decks, you know, stuff like that. And obviously they just done Arceus and um, they couldn't have done that Mew TV Union deck because they just used Arceus for the for the Pikachu decks. They wanted to do something a bit different. So they, they went down up to the um, top eight players and they got the... Um, one well, of the Mew VMAX decks. Mew VMAX was obviously a, one of the strongest decks on the months and, and, you know, half a year leading up to the World Championships. Um, it won a couple of tournaments. It was always placing highly. It's very strong. I got my first ever day two at... I got my first ever day two um, at a tournament with, um, with Mew VMAX. And... Um, yeah, it's a very strong deck, and I might be playing it a lot more in the next format once we lose all of the cards from the D block, because it really literally only loses, like, I think, Quick Ball and a few other sort of cards. So it all revolves around using um, Mew VMAX's um, Cross Fusion Strike Attack. So you've got a bunch of other Fusion Strike Pokemon in your deck, um, but you're mostly copying the um, Genesect VMAX. So let's have a look at here. So once again, a beautiful shiny sort of purple sort of themed Mew deck box the shape of Mew that is absolutely glorious I love it so much and uh, yeah let's just take a quick look at the mix so there's also a lot of people um, that collect certain species of Pokemon like Umbreon's Charizard's Pikachu they collect that card and there's a lot of people that collect Mew so a lot of people will just be after just the the you know the unique Mew VMAX with obviously Andre's signature on it and the you know the purple back as well so I might open another one of these boxes and maybe get a sell a few or get a few graded. So you've got three of the Mew V Max. So this is a classic, um, straightforward Mew V Max deck with double turbo energy, no Meloetta shenanigans with the Elisa Sparkle, um, which is in the which is also in the Mew V Max League Battle deck. So if you see the League Battle deck, um, if I've got one of those handy, I do. So in the um, Mew V Max League Battle deck, for example, this one, this one is legal for play, um, and it will you know if you look at if you look at the cards from the League Battle deck. That one is actually legal for play, which is, I know it's quite confusing for new people, but that's why that one costs £29, and that's why this one's like £14, £15, because um, <laughs> this thing is not like the other, this, or well, however the song goes. So, um, yeah, again, if you see the different backs, you can't play these in, in tournaments, but again, if you're playing in local events, casual tournaments, ask the organiser and they might let you use them just for fun. Um, so you've got Mew V Max, you've got Mew V, um, again, Mitsuhiro Rita artwork. So yeah, this is basically it. Oh, okay, this one did play Meloetta. So he was playing a very thick 4-3 of Mew V Max, but he had Meloetta and Elisa Sparkle as an option. I really like that. And they weren't even playing the um, Oracorio to produce the damage. So just gave them a lot of different options and stuff, which is really cool. So you use Mew V Max's Cross Fusion Strike. Um, to copy most of the time to copy the Technoblast, which is 210 damage just for one double turbo energy. And then you have a bunch of the Genesects. You can use the Fusion Strike system to draw a bunch of cards over and over again. It's a very strong deck. If you um, want to start playing Pokemon at local tournaments and events, I highly recommend finding the Mew VMAX League Battle deck. Not this one, the League Battle deck, the one I just showed you. Um, and it's a really good starting place to sort of like have a good deck to start off with. So four bosses orders, three Elisa Sparkle, two Rose Tower. They're really going on the side of consistency. I really like this. Four Battle Pass. For Kramomatic, and you can you increase your damage of your Mew V Max um, Techno Blast, and your also Meloetta as well, um, by using the Power Tablet, which is really cool. And Rotom Phone, this very consistent list. I like this. Four Rotom Phone, Escape Rope, Switches, Echoing Hunt, Choice Bands, 
four fusion strike energy and three double turbo energies. I'm, very, I'm actually very impressed with this list. I haven't looked too deeply into these deck lists and, you know, what some of the other players in the top eight played other than, like, you know, the, the main sort of lists. And I'm very impressed with this. Con uh, congratulations, Andre. I'm very impressed with this. And the top eight finish is very, very highly deserved. Um, done, a, done a great job there. And you can just see, I'll just show you down here. Just look how beautiful um, these, these deck boxes look. Um... So, yeah, I'm definitely going to be keeping them together and, you know, using them to help people to learn how to play and also be nostalgic about the format. Um, it's not the greatest format compared to the other World Championships, but it's still a lot of fun to play Movie Max and um, especially this Flying Pikachu deck. So this is the personal highlight for me. We've got ADP um, by Andre Scrubel, lovely guy from Chechnya, um, Chechnya, Czech Republic. Um, so it's called ADP, and, Steve, and you may ask, Stephen, there isn't an Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia in here. Ah, this is the clever part. You've got Arceus, Decidueye, V-Star, and Pikachu, ADP, which is, f for those that, that played the Pokemon card game in 2019, ADP was, like, one of the strongest cards, um, and dominated for a very long time, so that's a really, I, I, that's a really nice nod to that. I think, I'm not sure whether he came, whether Andre came out of it or someone else, but that's a really, that's a really, like, nice nod to like the most busted deck, the most busted card and one of the most busted decks in years. So so here's what you get. So you've got the nice yellow deck box to go along with the, the yellow colouring of Arceus and also Pikachu. So we'll open it up again. Another pin badge, beautiful pin badge. We'll have these for sale um, at um, MCM Comic Con, hopefully. You get the code card again for the items. Like this doesn't. I don't think these give you the full decks online because that would be too easy, and they're only fourteen pounds. But they do give you like. I think you get like the. I think you might get like this coin. I think you get this coin and maybe a deck box online if you play on on PECG Live or PECG, which is cool. And um, and we're back. So yeah, the Arceus, um, the Algorand, <laughs> the ADP deck. The one that won the Master Division. Again, beautiful deck box. I might have to try and find perfect fit sleeves just so I can keep these little cardboard, these cardboard deck boxes with the things. I'm not sure whether they'll still fit in there with perfect fit sleeves. Hopefully one year they'll, they'll still realise that people want to use... Um, <laughs> People want to use sleeves to keep their World Championship cards safe, and then we can actually, you know, use, use you know, nicer deck boxes. But, um, so, it's all about this Arcus V-Star. Star birth ability, absolutely busted. You can just search your deck for any two cards once per game using the V-Star power, and, and just, you know, you can set up your Pokemon. Um, you've got a 4 free Arceus V, v and V-Star. A lot of the Pikachu collectors, and some people that even collect Celebrations Master Sets might even go after these ones in particular, because they've got the Celebration logo on them, but... Um, we've got the Flying Pikachu um, V-Max. Um, the Max Balloon was really strong against Regigigas because they couldn't attack it with the... All basic Pokemon can't attack this Pokemon, which is really cool. And, um, yeah, again, you can see the different backs. You can't use these these ones in the tournament play. Two of, three Pikachu V, two Pikachu V-Max. And 2-2 two, two on the Hesue and Decidueye, Decidueye V-Star. So, the Decidueye V-Star was really good in the mirror match. You could knock out Arceus V-Star for weakness. But also, you needed Decidueye V to deal sometimes with the Mill Tank. That would stop your Pokemon from V-Pokemon or Pokemon with a rule box, I think, from being able to attack. So, you'd be able to um, sort of shred through that with the close quarter shooting. So, that was really cool. We've got a 2-2 two, two Barrel just to draw more cards. You've got Bidoof on the World Championship cards for the first time. Big shout out to Will Post. Um, Luminion for consistency, um, Pumpkaboo so you can use your V-Star power, Crobat for drawing more cards, and just the, the trainer cards. So this, this, these lovely people, they decided, um, Andre and whoever he was testing with, they decided to go for four bosses orders to make it more consistent. You could boss the opponent's Arceuses much quicker, and also you could chase down, like, Palkias before they evolve and stuff, I guess, with, because you're hitting them for lightning weakness, so, um, obviously it worked for them, because they won the World Championships, four Marnies for disruption, very powerful, Four path to the peak. I forgot this played four path. Holy, this is such a disruptive, like, aggressive, like, deck. I'm not surprised it won, to be honest. This is very close to what something I would have played at the World Championships, but I, ch I chickened out and played Gerald on VMAX. It's okay. It's all good. I probably wouldn't have won anyway. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Ultra Balls, Evolution Incense, and the Energies, and the Double Turbo Energies, and a one-off of Capture Energy, because you can Starburst for it and set up your board quicker. So, that is the, um, the Arc... Whoa, there it goes. That is the Arceus V-Star, um, Flying Pikachu Decidueye ADP deck by Andre Scrubel. So... Um, those are all of the decks from this year's World Championship. A very strong lineup. So the I highly recommend these if you have a little bit of experience already and you want to try just practice with different decks and different archetypes. 
um, and just also just you know make if you feel nostalgic about these formats or if you're at the World Championships, these are just like really cool like little collectors' items just to have in your you know in your collection, and you know you can. If you ever want to like go back in, in a couple of years from now and play the format that people played at Worlds, or just to be you know recoup, remember what was going on that year. They're, they're really cool. So I'm really a fan of these decks. Big shout out again to Pokemon Company for making these. And um, yes, please let me know what you think. Leave a comment. <laughs> leave a comment below. Which is your favourite of the four decks? Um, what do you th you think these are worth it? Um, I'd love to know what you think. Please remember to like the video. Also, head to our Discord server. Click link below. Head to our Discord server if you want to talk more about competitive Pokemon or decks and stuff like that. I always I respond to like questions on there sometimes as well. So please, you know, check out our Discord server. And yes, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. I just love these deck boxes. They're so cool. Gotta catch them all. Thank you to these lovely people. They get exclusive market updates, Japanese buying guide videos, how to grade your cards directly with PSA and all sorts. Please click the link below and check out the PlayScape Games Patreon and I'll see you very soon Pokemon fans. Gotta catch them.